So this is a quick demo on how to um, make a tire tread and rim. So right here I have um, two splines, and this is me the rim cross piece. See, it's one continuous spline, as well as the tire cross piece. It's very simple right here. So I'm gonna grab these, grab any point, start with the rim, click L, and I'll lathe. If you notice, I have it offset a little bit, and it gives a bit of a rim. Now let's go back to the um, tire, do the same thing, oops, wrong button, excuse me, and click L, lathe it again, and the other tire. Now here's a bit more of a tricky part, is we're going to create the tread. So, click on the um, snap to grid, and let's draw a perfectly straight spline, turn off snap to grid, and I'm going to grab this and hide it. Press E, extrude, go to top view, extrude again. And for now, I'm going to use cubes. So, grab that, copy it, paste it, make it look more interesting, scale it a little bit, copy and paste it again, and snag it over right there. And this is me, tread. I'm just going to group it, I don't know if you can see it, but tread right there. I go back to our main view, unhide everything, go down. Let's actually lock this for a second. Uh, that's right there. And rotate it. Scale it so it. And. Use the distortion boxes just to fit it against the rim, I mean that tire. It doesn't have to be perfect, but now we have that. See, that's our basic, what's going to look like. So we go back to our view, undo that, and see this um, center spline right here. So I'm going to select it by pressing the comma key, right click. Plugins, Wizards, and Sleeper. And I'm going to be duplicating it. Regular is fine. And I'm going to tread, use steps, and set to 70. Press OK. And it doesn't look good enough to me, so I'm going to delete that. Take a second to do that. Tread piece. Alright, then grab this one. Again, press comma, select the whole thing. Plugins, Wizards, Sweeper, and let's try 100. And there we go, you have a tire tread. And that's your basic rim and tire. Click info, it's about 3,000 patches, so it's kind of heavy, but it's, it beats some displacement mapping. But very simple way to make a tire and rim and tread. Thank you. And if you need more help, um, post a question at the forums at hash.com slash forums. Um, I'm Josh Harmon. Thank you for watching.